say I want my grass and water. Almond tree. Long this stored area was a garden that kept the girls' family in turnips and cabbage for years. I watered it from the spring in the creek below. Had a, a pier lunar water never let them down, even through the great drought of the 1880s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, we'll have a look around. Yeah. Yeah, then there's not much in between. I mean, there's, there's a few other homesteads, but what they're doing, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just see, I suppose. Yeah. Right, boy, yeah. It's a bit of a crap time, too, because of the yeah. COVID and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, I guess there's Lee Creek, but that's over the other way. So yeah, you have to go right around, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah, go, back go back and up. And yeah. Up, so. Yeah. Yeah, we just got to... Chance it, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> sorry. We'll go up to this old homestead. Come here. I'm building. Yeah. We'll just have a look up at this here. You talking to something? I need to go. What? I need to go. Ah. Go where? So, what's this here? Looks like it might have been a toilet once, was it? Looks like. And I think someone still uses a toilet. Otherwise, why is that thing there? Eh. Uh, yeah, that old tree down there. The beauty. We better get up here before Floyd wrecks his house, so. Hey, look. That's a sharp bit of. <laughs> that looks like a spear. Spearhead. You found a spear? That's an Aboriginal spearhead, Floyd. Hmm? Aboriginal spear. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Looks like one. Hold on to it. You might, I found might something be. The dead body of a kangaroo. Put it in your pocket. I found the body of a kangaroo and its tail is still there. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Yeah. And I'm yeah. going to crush it. Just leave it forward, please. No. Here's, a, here's the information here. Ah. Oh, yeah, right in the light there. Wills Homestead, 1856. Joseph Wills probably built this dwelling. It's a four bedroomed house. With an extension on the northern side, the fifth room may have been used for guest guests it was a fireplace and no internal doorway. Thatch roof, flagstone floor. The poor state of the preservation of this building reflects the original workmanship. <laughs> Many stones are untrimmed. This building was washed out over time. This, this fragile building should not be disturbed. Yeah, watch it. Hey, Floyd. Floyd. What? It says there, don't disturb this building. I'm fixing it. Yeah, just leave the, everything. Dad, Look, don't it. touch it. Mia. Dad, I'm going to fix it. Yeah, don't disturb it. It's very fragile. It's 
been poorly built. Pump. Been poorly built. built. real hard. Yeah. You so get off there. It took hours to build it. Because I helped the person who made it and helped them rebuild it. Yeah, well, don't put anything on it. Just leave it as it is. Dad, you It's really not to be not touched. Like you only you look at it. Like Shh. Look at it. Don't touch. hate my help. Yeah, battle of wheels. Boo. Wheels. The house is on fire. It's, it was the smell that caught their attention, like hot sealing wax. Sarah Wills heard a scream when she saw the fire in the corner of the room. It was thatched with spinifex and was quickly alight. In no time, the kitchen and the homestead were burning. Mm. There was nothing Joseph and Sarah could do. Mm. Ah, John Wood. Their cook, John Wood, had made threats to Sarah a few weeks earlier, overheard by a bullock driver in Stockton. On night of the the cook was in and out of the men's hut across the tent. At his trial, Wood claimed he went to his hut to get a pack of cards. Wills was convinced that Wood had torched the roof. Be a little sudden. Yeah. Mom and most testified it was windy on the night of the fire. The magistrate concluded the fire was an accident. Raised by the injustice of the decision, Joseph placed this handwritten note on a tree near the mine manager's house. Ah, uh, yeah, so he's written a note and saying he's not happy. Yeah, well, you can't blame him. Violina ruins here too, Zoe. Hey, what is this? A kangaroo graveyard here. What's the deal here, do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, hang on, that's not kangaroos. I think they're sheep, aren't they? They don't look like sheep. Oh no, my God. that's a kangaroo. Oh, no, my they're God. definitely Chris. kangaroos, yeah. What happened to it? Oh, maybe it's some sort of roo shooters and that probably put them here. Ah. The farmers have probably. Long tails like that. Anyway. Yeah, no. Farmers probably shoot them and put them there. No, they don't. No, no, they're different kangaroos. I thought for a minute one of them looked like it was wool. Yeah, there's the kitchen. On the early ruins, it was common for kitchen to be attached from the main homestead. Oh, yeah. This helped to reduce the risk of fires. Most kitchens were thatched and combustible material. Sarah Wilkins, no, Sarah Wills's kitchen was a one-room building with a large fireplace and window. Oh, yeah, so they, that actually, this was the kitchen. See, they used to put the kitchen separate, so if it caught fire, it didn't burn your whole house. Oh, they get to be dead, and I, get, and I don't get to be dead. Oh, my goodness, you're really starting to get to me. Lloyd, I'll tell you what. I thought that was put my boots on. That looks like it's been cut, doesn't it? Oops, let's go back a bit. That looks like someone's cut that, but it must be just natural. I mean, why would you? But why would you cut it? So, yeah. Oh, and how would they cut it way out here? Another more dead kangaroos are everywhere. 
You've seen so many dead kangaroos. Look, down here too. Yeah, here's another one. Yeah. It's a kangaroo graveyard. So watch this. Uh, There's more in here. Who the hell would throw dead kangaroos in there? That is gross. It stinks too. Dead kangaroos don't smell it. Whew. Luckily, we haven't got. To... Yeah, don't say me here. We don't want to hear about it. What's this? Unidentified buildings, 1850. Doesn't say what they were. There's a lot of buildings around here. Look at this one. Yeah, this one down here. That, I don't know what that would have been. Yeah. Hey! That was cool. Let's go now! Oh, no! Mia, where'd Zoe go? I can't believe she's taken off. Yeah. 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 These were shopkeepers. Publicans and blacksmiths. Sarah and the children care. Happy Alina going while Joseph away breaking rocks. Their son Charlie, a brilliant horseman, got work on neighbouring runs and the women fed travellers old stockings. Joseph's famous cow did not bring home as many calves as he had in the past. For stock were dying everywhere as the great drought intensified. Mm. Well, I don't think I'll stay to read the whole lot, but. Started raining two weeks before Joseph's release in 1866. Release? What happened to him? No, we're trying to really sign the second tissue. Another dead kangaroo. Why did he get an air release? What was he doing? He didn't say he was in jail. Yeah. He's in jail. He's only the king, Mr. Howard, over. Runa, who had sold up early and made a small fortune. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did he escape from prison? No, it says he was in jail. Yeah. I have to go to the toilet really fast. dead kangaroo, did he? Yeah, his eyeballs are missing, I think. And he was also about to. Look, there's one in there, too. Oh, oh goodness sakes, I've never seen someone who did kangaroo. This time it has a blood. I mean. Uh, Floyd, I think you'll find it probably just the. Yeah, I think it must have been the farmers must just come around here and shoot them. When that, because the, the kangaroos must gather around here and they must just come and shoot them. Hey, Dad, look yeah. at the other one. Yeah. Dad, I heard sheep very, scream very loudly because I think the farmer was getting killed that sheep. No, I don't think he'll kill his sheep because that's his sheep. But it's very, very loud. These just go on and on and on, Floyd. <laughs> Hey, sheep. maybe you should have bought the car up. Can we get the car up? No, no, no. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm dead. I'm dead. dead bodies. There's dead bruise everywhere. <laughs> we have to get going. Oh, it says car park, so you can bring the car up. Because, yeah. Because they just keep going. I hope that's not another dead one. Another dead one over there. Huh? <laughs> right there. Oh, yeah, more down there. Gee, it must be... Must be a lot of roos over here. Is there another one? Uh, there definitely is another one. And oh, I can smell another one. Yeah! Oh, gosh. God, man. This Wait, is good. He's in the fireplace. I think he's got the head in the fireplace. Oh, yeah, well, look. It oh, stinks so much, I barely can read this. I can't stay here because of these dead kangaroos. 
can you say? Cluster of ruins, a number of single room stone dwellings with many small chimneys, or with small chimneys, probably miners' huts and other unidentified buildings. Yeah, so 1859. Yeah, just probably for miners' huts, as they're saying. Yeah, yeah, pull them down and burn them. Yeah, imagine that, 1859, eh? Probably sounded just like this now. The old crows squawking. Well, this is the end. <clears throat> it's one up there. A couple of old buildings here. Hey, farmers, chicken roos around here. This stink. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, man. This is a tourist attraction. Oh, well, as long as you can't buy them, they've got a kangaroo's problem. This is where the roos come. Still, maybe they should throw them on the back of the ute or something and take them away. You can see they must, the roos must get in here, these places. Maybe it's warm in there on that stone at night. <laughs> Yeah, 
Thank mm -hmm. you. 